I'm Toby and this is Sea Life. All right, so today we're going to uh, mill the supports going from side to side. And then we're going to start milling the planks. But we're going to put these ones up first. I think I only need to cut eight of them because we're going to put them on four foot centers. And that's what we're going to do. It. Okay, let's get started. Yeah, let's get going. Daniel is doing what is called field sharpening, he says. And he's just got a little round file. And he's sharpening every tooth on this chainsaw. Looks like on one side. And then well, probably. I already did the other side. Oh, he already did the other side. Okay, so you do one side and then go back through your chain and do the other side. job of falling this tree and I, I was hollering oh that's beautiful you did a great job but then I realized he had his air muffs on so but uh, yeah this is a uh, got a lot of footage to it this is a nice a nice tree really nice let's see uh, yeah it's very good size well, we just got done measuring, and all in all, this tree would have been about 55 foot long by the time it was all said and done. But um, usable wood, we're probably just going to get about uh, 40, we'll get almost 40 foot. My imp most important job has been to bring back and forth this little tool right here so that log can be rolled even when he's forgotten it. You may have wondered how Daniel was going to get these logs moved. Well, he just put a chain and drug them just like you would a car. It's about this log because I saw that the, it looked like the termites were boring in and, and uh, I just wondered if, if this log has checked, if maybe it's not going to be able to be used. But Daniel said, we'll find out here in a minute. And I guess once we put it on the mill, we're going to figure that out, if it mills out right or not. And uh, I guess that's the basic idea behind that. Uh, so, we're just having to turn these logs. He was, he was foot rolling there for a little bit, and I told him that was his exercise for the day. Uh, but now he's using his uh, little tool there. We, we cannot figure out the name of this tool to save our lives. If y'all know what it is, let us know. Yes. It, it, it's marked uh, yeah, on the box or something, uh, somewhere, the name of it, I know, but we just haven't taken the time to figure that out. <laughs> we figured out how to use it, though. It's pretty simply used. Yeah, that's, that's the important part. So. First log of the day coming up the ramp. And Daniel has gotten much better at using this uh, little winch. And it looks to be coming up perfectly. So it's pretty nice. And it was. Uh huh. It's going to make a liar out of me. I thought it was coming up perfectly. And then look. Now it's turning, so I guess he's just going to encourage it to do the right way. A little bit, a little encouragement. That's the one thing about pine wood too is it's pretty sticky. It's it's uh, the fresh pine is is uh, got a lot of sap in it still. <laughs> it's pretty sticky. So we're just trying to scooch it down a little on the rack. when it 
gets up higher. He's going to try his hand at, at this. And he's almost afraid to move with it, it looks like, but he's doing it. It's very easy, actually. You just keep walking with it. Let's see if I can get the right lighting in here. So it's kind of like a boat winch. Yeah, it's, it's like exactly the same as a boat winch. You just set the little, um, the little guide position thing at the halfway mark. Try to get the center of your log is what we're finding. And, uh, and then you just hook it to the other side over here, I guess. And now we just have to roll it back in. After you gotta change the position of the little knob there. Yeah. Yeah, that one. That's There's a lever on the other side. Push it up. One man's got a crank and the other man's got a fit to uh, guide it up just a little bit better. And that's how that goes. Alright. And just stop. Today it's turned out to be pretty much milling because uh, we're deciding, you know, uh, to mill it down a little more because of, uh, don't want to be lifting these, you know, too big of beams, too heavy of stuff, and we want to make it where we can really work with it. So, we're going to cut it and mill it down a little bit more, and, and uh, we've got, with cut one tree and it turned out to have termites on, on one end, one of the logs did. So we just uh, cut out the end with the termites and we made us some, uh, some planks here, some, uh, some nice size planks for the roof. And then we're, he's starting to mill out the, 
the beans and so it's just um, milling today pretty much. We thought we would get it milled and get it put up and get it milled and get it put up but it turned out we, we're just enjoying the milling so um, and we'll, we kind of need to get the order milled out first and then, uh, then we'll be able to put it right up. And I think this is a beautiful plan. It'll work out just nicely. It's just marking out that end of that. That's kind of the technical end of the whole situation here, the measuring and the marking and, and just being sure you get the cut in the right place.